Welcome to PACT, which is located here at the University of Sheffield's Baton facilities. My name is Bruce Adderley and I'm the Executive Manager of the UK CCS Research Centre, under the auspices of which PACT was originated in 2012. It's a national open access facility where both academia and industry can come and perform their uh, investigations. It's designed and set up so that they can look at proving, testing, and generally thoroughly investigating how they can bring forward their technologies in a manner that can then be commercialised. We do lots of experimental testing for that research and that's really how PACT fits within the university's strategic investment because its focus is experimental and pilot scale research. So the Alliance CCUS project is very much looking at the needs of industry in the future and how it's going to be able to contribute to the decarbonisation um, of the global economy so as we look at where the globe is going in terms of the need to deliver on, on climate change, to reduce carbon emissions across the globe, and in, and in terms of a line, we are very much looking at what Europe's contribution is. Europe has a number of big industries yeah, that need to decarbonise so that they can both continue in the future. We also need to look at how we can have regions within Europe where big industries, whether they're the current industries or the new industries of the future, can be cited and can operate in a low carbon, cost effective manner. If they can do that, then we're guaranteeing jobs, you know, places that people will want to come and work, and Europe will be a major constituent of the global economy in the future. My name is Dr Karen Finney and I'm a researcher in the Energy 2050 group at the University of Sheffield and I work at the PACT facilities um, investigating various aspects of combustion and carbon capture. One of the most exciting things I think about working on the Align project um, is it's such a big project with so many project partners um, and it's really exciting to see the work that we do here being utilised by the other partners and also looking at how the work that we do, the results that we get can be scaled up and used in the other plants that are be being used for this project. So teamwork is really important here at PACT. So we have um, our, our business development manager and the director of the facilities who kind of oversee all of the different um, projects and all of the different operating schedules for all of our work here. Um, we then have several technicians as well who keep all of our plants running and do all of our maintenance. Um, and then we have several researchers, um, so people like me and my colleagues who are working on projects like this and many other projects looking at combustion and carbon capture. Um, so we're the people who are kind of in the lab every day running the experiments. We also have a lot of students, so PhD students who work with us and they will come in and help us run the facilities. So we'll train them up on the different bits of equipment and all of the analytical facilities that we have as well. Um, and they, then they can use some of this data in their PhDs. My name is Chris Malkowski. I'm a Portfolio Manager for Energy at the University of Sheffield. And as part of my role, I'm also the Business Development Manager of the PACT National Facilities. Uh, the PACT facilities are specialist national facilities for R&D in advanced fossil fuel energy, bio uh, energy and carbon capture technologies. PAC brings together uh, a range of pilot scale plant facilities, state of the art online and laboratory analytical equipment, and process and system modeling capability supported by leading academic expertise. Together, uh, these provide a platform for technology development, demonstration, and validation. Uh, our aim is to uh, support and catalyze industrial and academic RD to accelerate the development and commercialization of novel low carbon technologies, including CCS and PEX. Uh, Bioenergy with CCS. Uh, since the commissioning of the facilities nearly three years ago, PACT supported over 30 projects with a total value uh, in excess of £40 million pounds and a uh, grant allocation of over £4.5 million. It collaborates with over 40 academic and 80 industrial and other organisations nationally and internationally. Uh, we had over 1,200 visitors from uh, over 300 organisations, including fuel producers, power generators, industry, OEMs, and academia. PACT's research portfolio is quite broad with a number of national and international projects. Uh, the facility's flexible and integrated design is key in supporting a wide range of R&D activities. Uh, PACT's facilities include multi fuel and flexible uh, fuel uh, combustion plant, which are directly integrated with or incorporate the capture technology. This allows us to control both uh, the combustion and the capture uh, side of the chain. 
Uh, our gas mixing facility uh, enables us to modulate uh, real flue gases to, or create uh, completely synthetic mixtures to achieve desired composition, uh, for example, to investigate specific CO2 concentrations uh, or uh, investigate the impact of trace gases or to simulate process emissions from industries such as steel or cement. So on the Align CCUS project, um, we're mostly focusing on work package one. So this is looking at um, the solvent degradation. Um, so the solvent is what we're using to capture the CO2 and this is focusing on natural gas flue gases. So flexibility um, is, is something that's really important and so having a flexible operational strategy for your power station and also for your capture plant is going to be really important. So having a lot of renewables on the system means that things like natural gas and coal-based power will need to respond very quickly. Um, so for example if there's you know the wind power suddenly drops off we'll need to start up these plants very quickly and then obviously your carbon capture plant will need to respond in the same time frame as your power station to make sure that you're capturing all of the CO2 that you're generating. For the cost reduction element of this project, um, we're looking at various different aspects to reduce the, um, the cost of capture. Um, so we're looking at uh, uh, solvent management primarily. And solvent management is really important because it means that we can reduce emissions and so we're not losing the solvent, but we can also look at solvent degradation, so making sure that the solvent um, performs efficiently. The future plans for, for me and, and PACT is um, we have a lot of new research projects coming online. We have lots of different carbon capture um, mechanisms that we'll be testing. So this will be things like looking at rotating PACT beds um, and also membrane technologies and looking at how different um, operating strategies of the, these different capture systems um, can be integrated into coal, biomass and um, natural gas, flue gases that we can produce on site.